just to be on the safe side, if you're going to bring in valuable items such as electronics or jewelry, make sure that you hand carry those items. Or if you're going to bring designer goods or items that are highly valuable other than jewelry or electronics, make sure that you hand carry them with you for security purposes. First, let me give you some important tips. When I travel to the Philippines, I usually send items ahead of time. So if you have a lead time of about three months before going to the Philippines, I highly suggest to send personal items in a box or in a package. However, if you don't have time to send your personal items to the Philippines, you can hand carry items if you are going to have with you valuable items such as jewelry or electronics or other designer items. There are a lot of questions about personal items that are expensive or exceeding the allowable amount. So if you are going to bring, for example, several electronics, and if these electronics, whether new or old, are personal items, no matter the quantity, you can still declare this as personal items and not for commercial sale. Please take note that there are special privileges for Filipinos bringing in personal items to the Philippines. Also, please take note of prohibited items or items that you cannot bring because this will be confiscated. Please take note all persons and baggage are subject to search at any time. All goods when imported from any foreign country, including those previously exported from the Philippines, shall be subject to duties and taxes, except when it's specifically exempted. Let's talk about the tax exemptions for Filipinos or foreign nationals. Let's talk about the value of the goods you can bring in the Philippines. So all travelers, whether Filipino or non-Filipino, bringing in goods with a value of 10,000 pesos or below shall not pay duties and taxes. So basically, if you are a foreigner, convert it to a foreign currency. For example, if you are from the U.S., $200 worth of goods are not subject to duties and taxes. You must consider the totality or the worth of all the goods that you are bringing whether hand carried or in check baggages. Now for Filipinos, all Filipino citizens are entitled to a duty and tax exemption for personal effects and household goods sent or brought in up to three times the value of which must not exceed 150,000 pesos. So roughly, this is around $3,000 if you are coming from the U.S. within a calendar year, provided the goods are not in commercial quantities or intended for barter, sale, or hire. For those who are planning to bring in cigarettes, tobacco, or liquor there are specific rules to remember and this is applicable for all filipinos and non-filipinos so each traveler is entitled to duty and tax free importation of two reams of cigarettes or 50 sticks of cigars or 250 grams of pipe tobacco and two bottles of liquor with total value of 10,000 pesos or less. Let's talk about the currencies that you are going to bring to the Philippines. There are specific currencies that you can bring to the Philippines. For example, if you are going to bring 10,000 US dollars or less to the Philippines, you can bring this cash without even declaring the foreign currency. However, if you exceed 10,000 US dollars in cash, you must declare these items. There is a form that you can use. You can use the online customs declaration form or the paper customs declaration form. Here are the specific questions that you must answer when going to the Philippines. First, are you bringing in Philippine currency or any Philippine instrument in excess of 50,000? If yes, you must submit 
an original copy of the prior authorization from the Banco Central. So if you are bringing less than 50,000 pesos or currency, you don't need any authorization. Number two, foreign currency. If you are bringing in in excess of 10,000 US dollars in cash, you must fill out the foreign currency declaration form at the Bureau of Customs Arrival Area. If below 10,000 US dollars, you just need to answer no. Let's move on to the third item, gambling paraphernalia. If you don't have it, then answer no. If yes, you must obtain a clearance from the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation. Number four, cosmetics, skincare products, food supplements, and medicines in excess of quantities for personal use. So make sure that these items are not in excess of quantities for personal use so some people are trying to bring in more items for sale or for giving away to friends and families number five dangerous drugs such as morphine marijuana opium puppies or synthetic drugs number six firearms ammunitions and explosives number seven alcohol or tobacco products in commercial quantities the rule to remember is that if your items are in commercial quantities you must declare it number eight foodstuffs fruits vegetables live animals or meat marine and aquatic products and their byproducts the rule is that if the food item is dried or canned or in packages or boxed they are allowed in the Philippines. Otherwise, if they are live animals, you must submit an import clearance from the National Veterinary Quarantine Services or if they are live plants from the National Plant Quarantine Services. Next item, mobile phones, handheld radios, and similar gadgets in excess of quantities for personal use and radio communication equipment. Number 10, cremains or human ashes, human organs or tissues. Number 11, jewelry, gold, precious metals or gems. Now, what is considered as commercial quantity? So, it depends on the nature of the item. For example, if you're bringing in 10 iPhones, then that is considered as commercial quantity. Let's talk about the prohibited items. These are items that you cannot bring because these are expressly prohibited. Here are the specific prohibited items, meaning to say these are expressly prohibited, so don't bring them into the Philippines. First, written or printed goods or films, photographs, or objects and other drawings that are representation of an obscene or immoral character. Also, materials advocating rebellion, insurrection, or sedition against the Philippine government. Another item, abortion paraphernalia. Number four, adulterated or misbranded food or drugs. And then number five, and these are the most commonly brought items, are counterfeit goods such as bags, shoes, and other items. Number six, goods manufactured in whole or in part of gold, silver, or other precious metals, or the brand or mark does not indicate the actual fineness of quality of the metals or alloys. If you bring these items, this will be confiscated. Let's talk about food items. You cannot bring fresh items to the Philippines or live plants. If you are going to bring live plants, you need to secure a permit. So I'm going to provide you the important details in the customs declaration form where you have to answer for this The rule is that if the food item is dried or canned or in packages or boxed, they are allowed in the Philippines. Otherwise, if they are live animals, you must submit an import clearance from the National Veterinary Quarantine Services or if they are live plants 
from the National Plant Quarantine Services. If you are a passenger going to Naiya or Ninoy Aquino International Airport, Terminal 1, you must fill out the online customs declaration form. There are instances where the customs declaration form may not be asked from you or you, were, or you are not required to present those forms uh, to an immigration officer. However, you are still legally bound to declare everything that needs to have a permit. For example, if you are bringing more than $10,000 in cash, you need to declare it in that form. If you are going to bring in designer items or goods or highly valuable items in your check baggage, make sure that you make a list and take a photo or take a video of all the items that you have in your check baggage just to make sure that when you claim your luggage, everything is still intact or nothing is lost or missing. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel. And if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.